Now this sling that we just did a brake test on is an EE2802 by six foot. Now this was a used sling that we use in this test bed all the time, but you want five to one out of slings. And uh, this one's been around for quite a while. So our target was 32,000 and uh, I think we got around 30,000, somewhere around there. I have to go back and look. But anyway, that just goes to show you that older slings will not carry a five to one. If they're properly taken care of, they will. And also, there's certain size pins you gotta go around. The smaller the diameter of the pin, the weaker the sling. Uh, generally, we do brake tests on two inch pins on two inch. Um, so that's, that's where your brake test results uh, come from. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you what a brake looks like and I hope the slow motion worked good on this and I had enough lighting. So, but anyway, let me show you what this sling looks like. And also we can tell if a sling has been cut or broke. Somebody says, uh, this sling just broke. Well, it come in, it'd be just a straight line on it, a little bit of fuzzy. It, no, you cut it. So we can tell. But anyway, I want to show you this. That's what a brake will look like. And you can feel these ends on these and they're a little bit balled up from friction where it broke. Uh, it gets a little stiff. So that's what a brake looks like. And uh, some of you wanted that. And I hope you enjoyed it. So anyway, like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up, would you? Our actual brake on that sling was 28,520 pounds. I pulled it very fast on that brake. When you do brake test, you won't pull it slow. Uh, if you're uh, trying to uh, check for five to one. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, there you have it.